Good morning, guys. Wow, how are you guys doing this morning? I am so excited to be here with you. And yes, guys, I miss you already, even though that I only was with you yesterday, which was Monday, today being Tuesday, guys. It is, we are filming in the lovely, amazing, luscious, wonderful island of Barbados, called Barbados. So yes, guys, we're in the Caribbean, and it is good to be here. It's good to be living here. I love it. I wouldn't trade it for anything in this world unless God asked me to. <laughs> Let's get into today's topic, guys. I love you guys so much and thank you so much for watching and being part of Wake Up With Dr. Nina. As you know, we would have mentioned yesterday, uh, we talk about procrastination and we I give you a foundation and, and spoke to you about why, you know, the Lord led me to uh, to have this show and I procrastinated. Yes, I did. And guess what, guys? I'm here. I might have done that, but I am here now, okay? And I'm not going anywhere <laughs> until the Holy Spirit says so. Because you know, it's time and season, okay? So at some point, he could literally shift me into doing something else. But for now, you're going to hear my voice. For now, you're going to hear my corny laughter. <laughs> and for now, you're going to get my corny jokes too. Okay, so how are you guys doing this morning? Talk back to me, somebody. How are you guys doing this morning? How are you guys doing? I know for some of you, you're getting your kids ready, get, trying to get your kids through the door. You're getting your husbands ready. You're getting yourselves ready, preparing some meals. Or some of you, hmm, should I say it? Should I say it? Probably lazing in the bed. <laughs> Probably lazing around with nothing to do, but good thing is you have this show that you can now listen to and it will encourage you because you're watching Wake Up with Dr. Nina, better known as the Praying Prophetess. And guys, on this show, we're going to be talking everything G-O-D, God. And I'm just going to add prayer because that's just part of my life. It's part of who I am. So you're going to get some prayer in there. So maybe one session, we will just have prayer on that day. But guys, I'm just following the flow of the holy spirit here so uh you're gonna hear me come up with different things different topics all of that but i'm following the flow of the holy spirit for you to ensure that i'm doing what he asked me to do to ensure that you are blessed to ensure that you're edified to ensure that whatever it is that you are to do you will feel a pull and a tug in your heart to say you know what man i woke up this morning feeling so out of it but Dr. Nina is on. Let's turn it on. Let's go to Prophetess Nina Air Instagram. Let's go to Divine Visitation Assemblies Facebook. Let's go to Greatness Channel YouTube. Let's go to www.greatnesschannel.tv. If you haven't downloaded the app, download it now. Let's go to Activated Women Global. That's on Instagram. Listen, guys. Let's go to Take It By Force Prayer. Move on all of our platforms. You're going to be watching Wake Up With Dr. Nina. A wake up with Dr. Nina is going to be shown in multiple, numerous, I should say, numerous countries, okay? Not just Barbados, numerous countries. So you're going to be getting it wherever you are. If you're in Australia, well, uh -huh, long time, you know. <laughs> oh my gosh, wow. If you're in Canada, well, hey. <laughs> I listen, guys, I love accents, but I'm not good at them. So you're going to hear me saying some accents sometimes and... Yeah, don't listen, guys. I'm going to break out into some Spanish and all of that. Maybe I will even learn some Creole from my husband. But, guys, you're going to get my full personality. It's going to be on blast here because, you know, for God to give me something called Wake Up With Dr. Nina, you could only imagine God wants all those little things about me to come out. This is the best time. I'm encouraging you, but you're also getting a person who's going to share her process. You know, don't be fooled by titles of saying, I'm a prophetess, I'm Dr. Nina, I'm an AG ambassador, I'm an author. You know, don't be fooled by all of these things. I'm a person like you. I'm a person, okay? A person who, ha who goes through a daily process. So I'm not above mistakes guys okay so i'm a person and i love absolutely love my journey with god i will not change anything you could bring a million dollars two million even bring a billion dollars i will not change my journey with god i will not change or trade it 
How many of you watching right now that is testifying and believing and saying, yes, prophetess, yes, I will not change. Nothing, no amount of money. My destiny is priceless. What Jesus has done for me is priceless. Are you with me, somebody? But let's get into today's topic. Father, give you praise and thanks for this glorious day, this glorious session. Lord God, you know I love you so much. And you get all the honor and the glory because this is your idea. I'm just the vessel that you're using. Lord God, but this is your idea for your people, including myself, because as I'm learning and preparing, I'm growing and I'm developing as well. So Lord God, thank you. Thank you for thinking about us. Thank you, Lord God. Somebody just declare it. So Lord God, thank you for thinking about me. Lord God, thank you for thinking about us in the name of Jesus. Have your way today, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. And I want to start by saying I give honor to my husband, my spiritual leader, my cultivator, AG Ambassador, Dr. Andre Thomas, our very own prophet, as we like to call him here at Divine Visitation Assemblies. God bless you. My man of God, I love you so much. And I'm so blessed to have you in my life. Thank you, Lord. You know, uh, <laughs> One of the things that the Bible tells us is that we should do what? We should let our work be known. Do this good work and let it be known. So let man see this good work that we have done or that we are doing. And to do what? They glorify God. So a lot of times people are not glorifying God for you because you're not doing any good work. <laughs> or you think you're doing good work, but is it the work of the Lord? You see what I mean? Because the Bible said that what he has given to us is good. So I thank God. The Bible said, let your light so shine. Ah, Are you going to shine today, somebody? Let your light so shine. My God, you know, this work that God has given to us, is to, it is to cause us to shine. It's to cause what we have to multiply. Come on, somebody. Are you with me, somebody? But let's get into today's topic because let me tell you. These sessions are short, but I could talk. Hey, so let me keep it short for you so that I will not bore you. Yesterday we talked about, and we're going to continue this conversation about procrastination. I give you my story. I give you my testimony. And today I said, I'm going to continue. Let's talk about procrastination. Let's continue the conversation. Um, let's look at this scripture today, though. Did you uh, happen to have your Bible with you or you're watching on your phone and maybe you have only the app that you downloaded get a bible okay get a bible somebody get a bible okay all right so proverbs 13 4 tells us the soul of the sluggard craves and gets nothing while the soul of the diligent you heard that work the soul of the diligent worker is richly supplied. You can say richly blessed, richly enlarged, okay? Richly increased, richly what? Be successful, richly uh, 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 spread. Ah, come on, somebody, spread. You are spreading. My God, what God is doing in your life, he says you are rich in it. He's blessing you richly uh, in abundance. Oh, my God, wow. So, but he said here, the soul, but I'm going to talk more about the soul because I want to stay on the soul for a bit. Not Maybe not in today's topic, but we will talk about it, okay? The soul, he says, and we, if you're joining for the first time, we'll talk, we are in Proverbs 13, 4, and you're watching Wake Up with Dr. Nina. He says, the soul of the sluggard craves and gets nothing. So the sluggard and procrastination cause you to be what? Sluggish. Ah, am I speaking to somebody today? Procrastination causes you to be sluggish. And here's the thing I want you to understand. We can have procrastination in various aspects of our lives. Procrastination is not in one thing and not the other. It comes in various forms, okay? Take, for example, a man that is saying, I love this woman so much. But he's procrastinating to marry her because all the fears, maybe some conversation he had with his parents growing up, a conversation with his boys, you know, ah, you remember I got hurt or he or in, or in himself, some conversations of a past hurt from a relationship. He's not having all these doubts. I love this woman. She's good for me, but should I marry her? He procrastinate, he procrastinate a year gone by, two years gone by. He should do like my husband now. Well, come on, somebody. We met in February by November. We were married. My husband's like, nope, 
the Lord say you are my wife, I'm marrying you. Okay, November uh, this year will be what? 10 years that we are not married. November, somebody. And he was like, I'm putting a ring on it. Okay, so don't procrastinate when it comes to putting a ring. As long as God says this is your wife, put a ring on it. Okay, God bless you. <laughs> so, I want to say to somebody that when we do that, it could be that. And this is what I want you to see here with this example. Now, you're procrastinating because of all these thoughts. Like I shared with you, yes, if you haven't seen yes, I go back to it. You're procrastinating because of all these thoughts, these doubts, maybe some pain. Maybe you need to be restored. Maybe you need to be healed. Maybe you need to be delivered, okay? While you're procrastinating, this woman that you ever love so much, Ha, she's like saying, well, this guy is doing nothing. She's waiting, 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 nothing. And the Lord is looking at you like, well, I send you this woman. You're not doing anything. No, it's like, okay, I need my agenda done because marriage is about destiny, okay? That togetherness is about purpose. So now God puts this, is like, I need my agenda done because God is a God of mission, purpose, okay? So God now say, okay, well, I'm going to put Larry with her because Barry is doing nothing. He's procrastinating. So I need my work done. Now she meets Larry. Ah, Larry's like, wow, I love you so much. I'm going to put a ring on it. Bye, Barry. Goodbye. You see? So you lost. You lost. You were a sluggard. You procrastinated. So you did not achieve what God wants you to achieve. Because remember, the Bible also tells us that he who finds a wife, what? Obtains favor from the Lord. So that favor could be all kinds of blessings uh, in your finances, uh, in whatever God has given you to do. He wants to multiply it because you have found this destiny wife. Come on, somebody. So you miss it. You snooze, as they say, and you lose. I'm speaking to somebody this morning that is saying, Prophet is, I'm not going to snooze and lose, okay? So listen, guys. So that's what I want to share with you, but let's get into today's topic. Um, uh, the act, I want to share with you this um, uh, uh, this uh, explanation of procrastination. Action of delaying. Procrastination is action of delaying or postponing something that, notice this word, that you need to do. Anything that God gives us, we need to do it. It's, it's no longer want. It's a need. You need to do it. A lot of people that is crying for lack and uh, not having finances or marriage or families or business or, you know, whatever those needs are, provision in this area, it's because of what they're procrastinating or, or, or having this delay in their life to keep putting off that thing that's supposed to bless them. So... One of the things that we say, and I've grew up hearing this, don't put off today what you can do. Uh, don't put off what you can do today till tomorrow. You know, you snooze, you lose. Uh, procrastination could be spiritual or from the flesh. That's one of my points. That's why I said we're going to be talking about this because I want you to get it, okay? So I'm breaking it down with you. Procrastination could be spiritual or from the flesh. It could be spiritual in the sense that... Uh, uh, it is demonically wired to sabotage what God has given to you uh, by witchcraft powers, uh, you know, all the demonic activities, uh, demonic, uh, or it could be from your flesh. Because a lot of times we say everything is Satan. Everything is the devil. Everything is a witch. <laughs> everything is, you know, all the, the witchcraft uh, powers and principalities, all of this. We want to say all of these things, but sometimes we don't like to take responsibility and say that is our flesh, our uncrucified flesh. Let's call it for what it is. A lot of times we like to say it's the devil. Sometimes the devil is saying, look at you, look, you're blaming me for something that I've not done. Okay, you know what? You want me to come and cause problems in your life? Then I'm going to show up with problems because you're not blaming me. Now I'm going to give you problems. I'm going to give you problems. Okay, come on somebody. But sometimes we have to take responsibility and say, this is my flesh. I need to crucify my flesh because remember, our flesh is so programmed to where we have been. So that's why the Bible said that we should daily crucify our flesh. Our flesh is not saved. Come on, somebody. Our flesh is not saved. We, when we accepted Jesus, we received a new, a recreated spirit. So our old spirit man is exchanged for recreated spirit. And guess what? We still have our flesh. That dirty little stinky flesh that wants to go back to the past. That flesh that is, you have all the memory of things you would have done. Things that you would have, uh, have been, places you would have been. The flesh have a profound memory. Okay, guys? 
The flesh have such a memory that if you're not careful, that flesh begins to call on some things without saying a word. That's how the flesh speaks. The flesh speaks by giving off an aura. Okay, it's why sometimes, ladies, you can testify. Or even if you're a guy, you could be passing and you're wondering, but why is this particular type of man is watching me or looking at me? Why is why am I only attracting this particular type or this particular kind? Because there's an aura of the past that's still on you that you have not dealt with, that you've not crucified. So procrastination deals with, it could be spiritual or it could be your flesh. What we want to understand is that either way, it is there to sabotage something divine that God has given to you. It is there to cause a hijack of something divine that God has given to you to produce something glorious, something to bless others. Because one of the things, and I believe I have that point later down, one of the things you have to understand as well is that procrastination, sorry, when God gives us something, it is not just for us. It is for others. You know, I often hear my husband say, can a mango tree eat its own fruit? No. Okay? But in this case, when God gives us something, that thing is going to bless you as well, okay? So the owner of the mango tree is blessed. You, you get my point of where I'm going. The owner of the mango tree is blessed by all those mangoes. Now, the owner of the mango tree can get those mangoes. And other persons who love mangoes, you can now make some mango smoothie, okay? I'm being all healthy here with you. <laughs> you can now make some mango smoothie. You can cut them up, the little green ones, and put some salt. I really don't prefer that one, but you can do that too <laughs> for those who love that. Or if you're a Trinidadian, like um, uh, uh, some of my Trini friends, you can put some pepper on it and have pepper mango. <laughs> okay, let's not move away from topic this morning. I'm sharing with you how you, when what God gave you is for you to achieve much, great things, kingdom things. As a Christian, God says you are blessed. You are called to be a blessing as well. So if he says that you are blessed, what are the things that you are doing to cause these blessings to come to you. It's not going to fall out of the sky. He already declared that word to you that you are blessed. So you don't have to say, Lord, what, what are the things? What are the things? And we're not going to go too deep into this conversation. You know, some people will watch me like, a blessing. No, I'm speaking about right now procrastination and how when God says you are blessed. You know that blessing comes in so many different levels because protection is blessing as well. Protection is blessing. But I want to show you from the standpoint of when God gives you that divine work that divine mission you know when he give us our gifts we are to work those gifts ah sha lamando so doro she de lama shia nana ma go so we are to work those gifts we are to discover those gifts and we are to develop those gifts or we are to execute those gifts we are to work those gifts but a lot of times we have so many christians are procrastinating and a lot of times i believe i have this point too a lot of times because they don't know what they are to do Amen, somebody. So procrastination, like I said, it comes in various levels and it can affect so many areas of our lives. Family, finances, work, so many areas of our lives. So marriage, you name it, it can affect it. Yes, it's very possible. So let's go to another point here. The thing about these morning shows, guys, they are going so fast, but I love it because I don't want to give you too much. I want to give you enough, a bite size that you can chew for a long time on it. During your day, you will hear my voice saying to you, what are you procrastinating on that God has given to you to bless you? But you're still calling your neighbor asking for bus fare. You're still calling your neighbor or that former boyfriend or girlfriend asking for rent, asking for money to pay a bill. What has God given to you that you can produce, that you can create, that you can work Hallelujah. What is that thing that he's given to you? What is that idea? Because ideas, these divine ideas come from God. A lot of you, people take money drop from the sky when they say, oh Lord, I'm praying for finances. It doesn't fall from the sky. The Bible says, speak to the earth. Now the earth will now uh, begin to produce all your things because guess what? When he says speak to the earth, there are people who you are to connect to. But you see, I'm going into another topic, but we will talk about those things. Listen, guys. Oh my goodness. Wow. Are you excited with me? Now, if you're watching for the very first time, please, by all means, share, share, share. Okay? Don't forget to share. As you come on, just go right ahead and share and bless somebody. That's your first seed for the day. Bless somebody. Amen? So let's look at another point here because we're getting close to the end for today. Like I said, all week. 
maybe even into next week, we're going to be talking about procrastination. Procrastination is a big one. So we can't just come and just give you a water down something. I want to go deep with this. Okay. Let's look at another one here. Procrastination. Yes. And I want to differentiate this as well. Procrastination is not being lazy, but it can lead to laziness. Procrastination is not lazy, but procrastination can lead to laziness. It can lead to slothfulness because while God gives you this divine idea and you don't move on it and you him a ha, you're like, ah, oh, this, that, you become idle. Now you're on the phone chatting, you are gossiping, you are doing crazy stuff, Instagram, Facebook, whatever, all these social media platforms you're on there. And you're still thinking, Lord, you know, I'm still waiting on you. No, God is waiting on you. God is waiting on you. You know, so many of us are continuously daily saying, Lord, I have lack. And we prefer to call somebody. By the way, when you call people, unless it's somebody who really golly, they're talking about you. Ah, can I be honest with you? Do you want the truth? A lot of times when you call people, unless they are godly, they are talking about you. They are saying this woman always begging. This man always begging. And you know we can beg in different ways. We don't have to come out and say, well, money. you can come up with a whole conversation. Ah, uh, you know, people are something else. Wow, you know, I, I had this money to do something and this thing happened or maybe this thing happened. You can use so many different ways. The Bible says we shall sweeten the lips, but not sweeten the lips to manipulate. Okay, not sweetness of lips to manipulate. So you can manipulate your way into getting money from people for even saying, I need money. Okay, but some of us are very aware of these type of ways. But this is what procrastination would do to you. This is what would happen. Okay, you now move into being lazy, slothful. So when you realize that you're moving every day and you're still saying, I'm waiting on God. You know, these people that like to say, I'm just trusting God. <laughs> that person procrastinating. That person have already entered into laziness. That person have already entered into stuffiness. Ah, uh, I'm just waiting on God. Oh, bless be the name of the Lord. Hey, I'm not working, you know, but I'm just trusting God. But, but you're not doing anything. But, but you're not, oh, I'm just having faith today. The Bible said faith without works is what? Dead. Faith of what works. You must have your works. It says dead. So you are moving every day. And you're like, I'm just trusting. But you're not doing anything. Guess what, guys? You know, I like to say this like this. I'd rather start something and God interrupt it than doing nothing. I'd rather. Let me repeat that for those people who are out there still saying, well, I'm not sure. Start. Do it. Do it. Start. You know how many times I've started things, like I said in yesterday's uh, show, and God said, no, I don't want you to do that. Some of it was from the voice of my soul, and some was divine, but I didn't start it the way how he wanted it done. That's very important. <laughs> I'm speaking to somebody today. That's very important. Just because God tells you to do it, you have to still know how, when, where. All of these things are important. But all of these things are the reason why people procrastinate because they don't like to wait on God. They don't like to wait to hear him to know when to move, how to move, where to move. You know, the timing of moving, the season of moving. So then you move into laziness. Then you begin to sin. That's how the sin comes in because procrastination can lead you know, into sinning. That's how the sin enters into our lives. Amen, somebody? That's how the sin enters into our lives. I'm just trying to make sure that I stay on time here with you. Because like I said, I'm just giving you bite size every day. Encouraging you in the word. Encouraging you that when you leave home, you must remember what? Wow. Am I? What she spoke today? Dr. Nina said something incredible today. Wow. You must be honest with yourself. Wow. She was speaking to my heart. She was speaking to me. That's me. It's just you and the Holy Ghost. Deal with it. Ask him how to help you. And it's just you and him. You don't have to be embarrassed. You don't have to operate in pride. Talk to him. Okay? 
because it can lead you to sin. You begin to manipulate, you begin to lie, you begin to think of ways to steal, you begin to do all these things. You begin to see how you can control you, all these things. You get into the gossip on the phone or, or you meet up in person, however you do it. I don't know, you have a chat called gossip. I don't know how you do it, but I don't want any part of that, okay? So I'm saying this to somebody that you understand that when procrastination is operating in your life, when it's flowing through your soul, it's affecting your life, it's affecting your work, it's affecting what you should produce daily, weekly, monthly, yearly. It's affecting you. However it's affecting you, it's affecting you. It is for you now to ask the Holy Spirit in these sessions, Lord, I acknowledge what Dr. Nina is saying. How is this affecting me? Is procrastination in my life? Is that spirit around me? Because remember, a lot of people think when they hear deliverance, uh, uh, we as the body of Christ have so much to learn. When we hear, that's why the Bible said we perish for the lack of knowledge. When we hear deliverance, we hear about evil spirits and demons. We think it's always about a demon being within. The demons that are external. Monitor spirits are not internal, but that's the, their demons, their spirits. The evil spirits, they're not internal. You still have to deal with that because the monitoring spirit around your life can cause havoc for you. But I'm not about that today. Ah, you guys like to pull so much out of me, but I'm loving it. I'm loving it. But listen, guys, I'm not about that conversation with you today. We will get into those things as the Holy Spirit lead, okay? I just want to follow the flow of the Holy Spirit, okay? So I want you to look at your life and we're going to move into tomorrow very soon because tomorrow's topic, which is still going to be a procrastination. Like I said, we may be on this for the week. It's just a lot, a lot. The unpack here is a lot. Okay. And I don't want to give you shallow. I want to give you bite size. So we're going to be in procrastination for a while. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about procrastination. Hashtag it somewhere. Let's talk about procrastination. Let's get rid of it. You know, you must acknowledge it. You must acknowledge it to get rid of it. You must take responsibility uh, uh, for your slothfulness and your laziness and your ways that by having this procrastination operating in your life, you know, by having that around you, uh, that aura around you that causes you now to wake up every day and you do nothing divine. We're going to talk about it because it affects the way how you read the word as well. But guys, like I said, that's all the time I have for today. I want you to ask yourself this question. What have God given me to do this month? We're in the month of what? April. Today's Tuesday. What has God given to me to do today, this month, in this month that I have procrastinated about, that I have put off because of internal struggles? Maybe it's insecurity. Maybe it's feeling of inadequacy. Maybe it's, it's a lot of self-doubt, negative self-talk. Whatever it is, it's all there to hijack your breakthroughs. Amen, somebody. I hope that you've learned something today. You know, today was just bring you in. Remember, we are building on this. We are building on this, but it is to help you. I hope that I'm encouraging you well to move away from it. You know, it's so amazing. I'm going to end with this. It's so amazing how procrastination is so sneaky. It is so sneaky and it hides very well behind a lot of fluff. <laughs> so you can actually hear people sounding good, like they're doing something amazing, but procrastination is still hiding behind because the exact thing that God gave them to do, they're not doing it. But this is easier, okay? Now, I don't know why I removed my, my coasters, but I did. Now, this is easier to stack. So I'm going to work with this. But you're not realizing that procrastination has taken over your mind. Procrastination has taken over your will. It has taken over your emotions. You have not realized it. You have not recognized it. Oh, Shana, man, no, so. You have not recognized it. But, it, but so you're saying, this is easier, so let me move on this. This is easy. It's easy for me to stack these. So let's move on that. You begin to stack them powerfully, but God is looking at you and going, that's not what I've asked you to do. Now, God is saying, no, I don't want you to just stack I, and even if he's telling you that this is it, you may have that thing, this, you may have these, these coasters, but he's saying, I want you not to stack them vertically. I want you to go in a diagonal uh, way. I want you to go even in a landscape method. I want you to make it like a jigsaw puzzle. So instead of doing it like this, he wants you now to stack it like this. 
So you go all the way like that, like a puzzle, which is different. That is going to require concentration, focus. That's going to require something different from you. It's going to also require discipline. Ha, machine, no, no. It's going to require some endurance, which it's endurance is something that's built. So that's a process. But that's all the time we have for today, guys. But I hope that today is a blessing to you. Like I said, good morning. And don't forget to go out there and be a blessing. Edify somebody. Oh, my. Hold somebody's hands. Fix your sister crown. Come on, somebody. If it's a man, fix his crown too. Men wear crowns too. Fix it. Help him. Help her. Okay? This is not about me. This is about us. This is a us thing. This is a us thing. This is a us movement. This is a us wake up with Dr. Nina program. So God bless you, Father, Lord God. I thank you for this morning. I thank you for these amazing people, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, for every son, every daughter that's even watching right now. I thank you, Lord God, for all my brothers and sisters. In the body of Christ right now, Lord God. I thank you for spreading this word, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, for multiplying it, Lord God. Oh, Father, Lord God, I give you all the thanks, Lord. All the glory, all the honor, even now, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, as you are changing lives daily, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, and all those that have connected today. And you know that procrastination has been ruling your life. I want to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, I accept, I acknowledge that I've procrastinated and I'm a procrastinator, Lord God. It's been ruling and controlling my life. It's been ruling and controlling my home. It's been ruling and controlling my business. It's been ruling and controlling the work of my hands. Lord God, today, in the name of Jesus, break this spirit off of me. Break it from around me in the mighty name of Jesus. Break it off of me, Lord God. Break it off of me, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, deliver me from the spirit of procrastination in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the name of the Lord be praised as he is doing this great work in your lives. Go out there and be a blessing. God bless you and you are watch. You have been watching, I should say. Wake up with Dr. Nina. I'll see you tomorrow guys i love you so much and i'm so pleased and so blessed to be part of your lives in your homes in your cars wherever you're going to take this video with you and watch it i'm just just so blessed to be on your screen god bless you bye